Nissan Frontier that he says possibly could turn over. He said he was afraid to touch it because he thought it was going to turn over. What's the plan? Uh, I mean, I don't know how it didn't turn over and went down. Welcome back to the late night fog edition. We're just up from the shop. Uh, got a, a Nissan, Nissan Frontier. Frontier. Yeah, Nissan Frontier that he says uh, possibly could turn over. We're about a minute away here. Timber Ridge? Timber Top. Timber Top. Timber In 600 feet, continue straight. Well, it's steep up here, like normal. And the only other problem is I can barely see the road in front of me. It is so foggy. Continue straight, then sharp right onto Timbertop Way. Normally, we turn right there. I think they said their cabin was back up, there, yeah, back and they there. went this way instead of turning. Sharp right onto Timbertop Way, it. then you will arrive at your destination. I see it over here. Look, YouTube. I don't know if you can see those yellow flashing lights of a sideways truck hanging down the ravine, but there it be. It looks pretty sideways. It definitely does look pretty sideways. He said he was afraid to touch it because he thought it was going to turn over. Yep, that's pretty sideways. Hmm. Hmm, he missed. Yeah, he did. Hmm. Get a game plan. Hmm. Hello. Hey, hey, Jimmy. Jeff, nice to meet you, my hey, friend. Jeff. Um, my son is still in the car. He was trying to back down this driveway and slid off. Just of it. turned too yeah. quick there. Yeah. On the... I, you know, I mean, we were thought about playing with it, but I didn't want to take any chances of it. I mean, it drops down so bad right there. I didn't want to mess the truck up. I just wasn't sure what yeah. to do with it. I mean, on this side, you know, there's a lot of weight on that tire there and I don't know but I didn't want it to flip and I didn't want it to yeah we definitely want to keep it shiny side up yeah <laughs> probably just try to get some get a couple of lines on this side so it doesn't roll over yeah. if we've got a couple of lines facing this way at least yeah. we can control it and then maybe we can get it kind of scooted back down uh, I'll probably set up maybe about where I'm at, actually. might give us a good pulling point. Okay. Because I'd hate to take it back up. Yeah. And I okay. guess he came down off of it, but... Yeah, I mean, he could maybe get across. I mean, he was trying to get to our place, which is up there, but... Yeah. It, right at the top there, it, I mean, you could maybe get across there. It's just kind of junk. I mean, they don't, they, the roads don't connect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are my only two options. To either try to pull it back up the hill where he came from or try to get some. I'm kind of with you, though. I wouldn't want it to flip over. Yeah. Even if I'm up here ahead of it. Well, there's a lot of room, like you said, back here. But I just don't, I don't want it to get damaged. And I don't want it to flip. Yeah. I don't, man, he got really lucky it didn't flip going down. That'd be my only thing pulling it back up is that's such a crazy thing. We'd almost risk it a second time coming back up. Yeah. Where it's already down there, maybe we can uh, just try to get some some safeties on it so it doesn't, and try to just just kind of gently work it this way. Okay, let me turn around. At least we'll get some we'll get some anchors on it here. What's the plan? I mean, I don't know how it didn't turn over and went down. So I'd hate to pull it back up and risk turning it over going up. Yes. So you gotta back up to it and pull it sideways? See if we can pull it sideways and get some anchors on it this way. That way at least we it's safe from yeah. turning over. It almost looks like he could just continue on. I know. He said he was afraid it would I'll do a walk around, set the camera down and I'll come back and help get the truck.
plant either one of these to get low cool? Well, yeah, I think we'll be okay. I, I just want, yeah, enough oomph on this. Yeah. It almost looks like that front one might need to be low. Yeah, it'd probably, it'd probably benefit from it. Okay. I got this we'll stuff. Go for it. Okay. It definitely wouldn't hurt. Okay. Okay. Here. okay. I'm assuming you want him full break. Full, but yeah, I would leave all that on. Yeah, he'll uh, are you, are you, go ahead and start it up for me. Just leave it in gear. Leave everything how it is. Woo! There you go. Put your foot on the brake. I've got you, so. Yeah. See, see how this strap is around his mud flap? Yeah, it's on this back. I'm just kind of using this as a safety to hold him down. Okay, gotcha. Um, He's full brake and everything. Yeah, if it'll, if it'll, if it'll start up for me. Starting. Pull. You, you, it's got a little tension on the wheel, so you'll have to you'll have to jiggle the steering wheel to get the key to turn. There you go. Okay. Now, with your foot, you still have your foot on the brake, but go to neutral for me. Has the parking brake set too. Okay. The parking brake will be fine. You can leave it kind of for now. But kind of just just ease off of the brake just a little bit. See if it'll start to roll down the hill for me. Okay. Yeah, let me get... Same story, just, just, uh, you can release the parking brake now, keep your foot on the foot brake. but keep your foot, yeah, on the foot brake. And then just ever so slightly, just see if it'll just back straight down for me, right there where you're at. Hold, hold up, there you go, there you go. Okay, hold right there for me. I 
think it's level enough there that we can get it to. All right, you can go back to park. Do you need to give your leg a rest? Do you need to get out and stretch for a minute? Okay. Other than being a little muddy, I think I think it'll go. See his tire tracks up there in the road there boom and then he saw where he backed down he came off right there and he just came right on down this is about where he went off is about five or six feet high bank he doesn't have any damage or anything so he's good okay guys you know that that was that was a kind of a simple mistake there especially backing down that you're coming down backwards and you can you can see the fog guys I, I can I can barely see 10 feet in front of the truck here so couldn't imagine being in reverse coming down one of those steep grades uh, he just couldn't tell where his back wheel was and it ended up turning off the thing there so he crazy lucky though because yeah. that if, if he would have turned in any direction a different way it, it probably would have flipped over before he got to that road down there. Yeah, I think that's the way they need to go. Yeah, right but, right but you can't see anything, guys. Uh, you just get to listen to me ramble on. <laughs> you, you don't get anything for scenery. It's actually a really cool uh, piece of property up here. There's a lot of uh, overlook, and you can see most of Pigeon Forge and uh, even into Sevierville from, from up here where we're at. But unfortunately, tonight, in you 300 guys feet, continue straight. are not going to see anything. Uh, but yeah, he's he's lucky, and we're off to the next one here. Just for reference, if you were to turn left down here, uh, you would go over to where our mailman was stuck in the snow. Yeah, you guys remember the snow videos. He was just right down this road over here to the left. But that was, uh, you know, I could have got in front of him and pulled him back up the way he got in trouble, but I was afraid that, gosh, he didn't turn over coming down. I didn't want to try to pull him back up and risk risk flipping it over there either. So we opted for just getting some uh, some cables, some safety cables on the side, and, and then just letting him kind of coast down, ease down just a little bit of time. That way, I knew I had a hold of him. He wasn't going to flip over anyway. Just the safest bet for me. But we're off to the next one here. I don't know what's going on. There's a rock in the road. There's a big rock in the road. You know that? Asking for a flat tire. God, where the road go? It's over here. <laughs> yeah. What is it? H2 Hummer on 30... Eights. Eights? Yeah, that's what the phone call was. I need a roll back. Anyway, we're off to the next one, so stick around. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Um, got a call in for a box truck that was stuck in a yard and not real sure what we're getting into. I always hate the they want a price before you get started kind of thing and sometimes it's hard before seeing it and I've explained to him is like if it's stuck in a septic tank or mud or how much weight is it and he's I guess they've decided to, to unload this box truck not on the driveway they decided to go through the yard to get closer to um, to the unload or to make it easier to unload for whatever reason and I 
And from my understanding, the box trucks is a 26 foot and it's just kind of uh, lost traction. But we're in big red today. Uh, hopefully I overkilled it. Hopefully I don't need it. It's just maybe a stuck in the mud kind of situation, but looks to me like they were just, uh, yeah, they were hoping to do less carrying. They've got some piles of gravel and things like that in the way, and uh, it just wasn't a good idea. Let's see if I can not block too many people in while we get it over here, but. I wanna make sure he's got enough room to get up here safely too. We'll try for that. Let's, uh, I'll go see if I can find the, uh, the electric company person to see if he wants out before we start. I bet he'll be here a while, it looks like. I'll go ask. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. Just stuck in some mud? Yeah, so like I told the guy that you were talking to on the phone, uh -huh. I got the plywood here. Okay. I can feel it pulling, it, but I, it pulls, and it's just like, nope, I'm not going to do nothing. It won't come up. Okay. So it's like I, he tried to pull me out with the with the truck, and I can feel it pulling, so that's all I literally need is just, you to hook the winch. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's easier with the with that stuff. You try not to dig in. I, I'm not going to block anybody in, am I? By I think the only one that's coming in is him. Okay. Well, hopefully it won't take too long. Yeah, I just want to make sure we weren't in like a septic tank or anything like that. I guess that's. I don't think so. There's no. No, stuff no, there. no, yeah, yeah. Nothing. That would have been bad. You're not even knowing your septic no, too. It's down there on the side of the hill. There. Right. Okay. Yeah, I've. Uh, yeah, we get in some crazy trouble with those <laughs> septic tanks. <laughs> I tried taking them out with mine, but it, it wasn't going to work. It just, yeah, that's a lot of weight. A lot of weight and no traction up here. Yeah, he said he, he tried to call somebody out of Knoxville, and I guess those prices were uh, yeah, like not, bucks. It was not well, negotiable. I, I I'm, <laughs> I'm the owner, and I pulled up here and tried to pull him out, and I said, I Is thought it, he was going to be no, the, there's, the, the there's Lord and Savior. There's some right up here in Sevierville. <laughs> Yeah, no, $800 is a little un unacceptable. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get some stuff hooked up. They're afraid they're going to be in your way. I said, you're not going to be in our way at all. We just didn't want to block y'all in. Yeah, I don't want to block anybody in. Okay. Uh, Especially the electric company. You never know when they got to go. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I need a... Want... No. Uh-uh. Is now? Well, all I have to do is hook a strap around an axle, so. Oh, okay. Well, I'll let you do it. Actually, I wonder. Well, our wheel chocks will probably dig in enough to. Yeah, I'll grab it. You still one width? Yeah. All Over here on the passenger side, walk the side. I'm assuming you're gonna want him just neutral, right? Probably just neutral. That way you don't dig in. Okay. Did you hear that? Neutral? Yeah. Yeah. Start it. Start it neutral. And just keep your foot on the brake. drive for me.
She's heavy. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. We record for for a lot of things. For one, is to cover our butts, and you guys know that. But I also like recording to bring you guys some information for the area because I I like to help, and uh, you know a lot of the a lot of the stuff that we record is is kind of hurtful to our business, like the illegal parks. People watch, now they know where to park, and we don't do as many of them. You know, same thing as our winch outs, which I'm going to uh, show you the area, and you can maybe help yourself if you're in our area on vacation from sliding off the road. So we like to do these videos because, because of that, for those two reasons, I guess. But anyway, um, we're on our way to a winch out. Some more information for our YouTube family. This is not Pigeon Forge. <laughs> we uh, this came in as uh, as a Pigeon Forge address, and uh, you know that's that's very misleading. So if you guys are renting renting an Airbnb and you think you're staying in Pigeon Forge, by all means you're not. You're 30 minutes from, and uh, you're down a crazy road. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you can get the address, uh, do your research, look at the maps. You know, I've got a situation up here I probably can't even get through. They're building a house and uh, one lane road, materials in the road. Absolutely crazy. And um, some more information that I try to bring to you guys is, uh, again, I like to call it a scam company, but it's not a scam company. They're making money as a middleman. And uh, this this uh, lady actually called me probably two hours ago, and uh, she she said that she needed a winch out and wanted a price. And I told her, you know, what the, the what the winch out started at price wise, and it just kind of went up from there depending on the situation. Uh, we'd have to get eyes on it to really give her a definite. And she just said no and hung up, never called back. Well, lo and behold, this third party that's not even a local tow company. And if you guys watch the channel, you know. We've, we've dealt with this company quite a bit. They end up calling me on this same job that, that I quoted her on. And of course, in true fashion for me, I always overquote to them because I just don't want to deal with them. But somehow, uh, instead of paying my much lower price, this lady gives this third party company that's not from around here her money and they dispatch us to go help her. And that's, that's the way this stuff has played out. So I like to bring you guys this, this information. If you guys watch, you know, I've always said, look in the area, call the tow truck companies that are, that are local to you. Make sure that they're a local business. Turn left need, to stay on grassy branch loop. We don't need scammed. Maybe, maybe click like get directions and see if it will give you directions to where they are to see how close they are to you. But yeah, this is, this is just totally crazy that you would, that you would send a credit card over the phone to a company that you have no idea about after me giving you a much lower quote. So I'd like to know how that plays out. You know, I, did she just say, I'm not calling that guy back because I've got these people on the phone and even though they wanted <laughs> a lot more money, I'm just gonna go ahead with it. I, I don't understand the reasoning behind it. And maybe we'll get some information when we get over here to the gal, uh, but it looks like the car is kind of in a bad way. It's touching the house, it looked like touching the porch and eh, that's kind of what that looks like but you'll see it in person when we get there that's the old company sending me stuff but anyway it looks like uh, this is what happens when you build a house on the side of a cliff you have to offload your materials and leave them sitting in the road and you have to completely block the road to do it it's amazing isn't it do you guys see what this property looks like look at this ridiculousness pretty crazy. I hope the ground doesn't shift and the brand new cabin ends up. We hear that a lot around here. Oh, the mountain shifted and now it's at the bottom of it. That's and phrasing the tears. we will take $3,000 for it now. It's funny guys, when we, when we uh, first got to this area, we'd looked at a cabin in an auction and it was a beautiful cabin. It was huge. The pictures of it were, were very cool. And it, and it said $3,000. And we thought, well, I mean, for three thousand dollars, I got to go look at it, and uh, we we got there, and the whole 
cabin had shifted and slid down. It was it was built just like this one right here where we're at. The whole cabin had shifted down the mountain, and I don't know. I mean, I, I think the, something like it was going to cost like two or three hundred thousand to get the house jacked back up in level, and then try to fix the foundation where it doesn't slide anymore. That was just like foundation work. But I don't know. I mean, I guess somebody did. Mm -hmm. Somebody bought it and did it. Yeah. So on that one, it was like the front of the cabin shifted down like four feet mm -hmm. and the back of the cabin was still there. So the entire house was like slanted. It was really weird. It was bizarre. But yeah, they were, the back girders were like still in place, but the whole front edge collapsed. And often they'll do that. Like this one right here is all filled dirt in the front and they'll, they'll park their cars up there after they get it paved. And I don't know. It's just really crazy. Anyway, uh, I won't bore you guys anymore with this stuff. I thought I'd get that information out to you before we pulled up on scene to see just what we're into here. And we're going to get, hopefully these guys will get out of our way so I can get to work. I have been down here before and uh, guys, we're close. This I've gotten a few box trucks out of this same area. This they try to get down here. One, right? Yeah. And then they, and then they don't have nowhere to turn around. So they try to turn around. And uh, I've, I think I've winched at least two box trucks out of this this location. And it's weird because it's always this, this one it's over this here. One, right, this one right here, yeah. Where you winch them out because they always try to turn around there. I always like, I have to hook to this tree over here to hold myself. Yeah. And then there's been some 26 foot box trucks that have been not good down there. It's kind of crazy. It's crazy how we frequent the same areas. We were just talking about that yesterday. And it's so bizarre because you'll get a call and it'll be for one area and then the rest of the day you'll travel back and forth to that same area. It's, I don't know, I don't know how it, the stars align for that stuff, but. Oh, that's very not cool. I believe I see it. It's that cabin directly in front of us. Oh yeah, for sure. Your destination is on the right. And again, guys, you, I bet she wasn't expecting her little sedan to have to traverse the such a thing. Holy cow. Holy cow. Look at that. That is crazy. Guess I'll turn around. Okay. Or I'll attempt to. Just don't end up like her. I'm wondering if it's not going to be better to be up high. Is that what you're going to do? Oh, I'm going to be up high, but I want to be. Okay. I want to be facing this direction. All right. Or at least try to. It's very muddy. I feel like we've been back here before, further back or something. Wouldn't that somebody slid into a, a propane tank? No, that's probably not the same area. But yeah, I would agree. I think we had been. Further back, and it was those people that had dead battery, ran out of gas, and ran into a fence post or something. Something crazy. Oh, I didn't wear my boots. With fur, apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. The whole mountainside was looking at her. <laughs> 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 we gotta make music. It's the only way we can't get copyright claims. It looks intense. Well, I would assume it's, ooh, it's actually not touching. How lucky. I smell gas. I'm guessing the gas tank's on that side probably leaked out quite a bit very strong gas yeah that's crazy we need an umbrella we need an umbrella for the camera. Sorry guys, it's pouring down rain and I, equipment is kind of expensive. So 
All right, guys. Sorry. Pulling the microphone. The microphone is not waterproof. The microphone is not waterproof. Like the camera. Ooh, that is a good spot.
Just a little mud. Yeah. But we're still good. Mud around here is slick. Oh, I tell you what, yeah. It we're gets crazy. A, we're from Ohio. Yeah? You're not used to that stuff then? No. Okay, I'm supposed to build this guy, I guess. Um, I hate that for you guys. Because, uh, yeah. That's all right. It's all we did. So. Yeah, no, we'll, uh, at least it's safe. Okay, here's what I worry about is it was on that side. I don't know how much fuel you lost, but you lost quite a bit. I had a full tank. Did it? Okay. Yeah. I can smell it and I can yeah, see yeah, where it was. That's, that's why probably. Just I hope you don't run out of fuel getting back to town. I, I don't think it's that low. Surely well, it's not that low, but that was a pretty steep angle. But yeah, I would just, uh, I'd watch yourself there. And if there's any mud, you might have to spray that off because it might vibrate on you a little bit if it's got mud okay. built up in those rims. I appreciate it. Yeah, but we'll get out of here, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay guys, uh, we got that winch out complete there. I didn't really get a whole lot of information from them on why they didn't go with us two hours prior to the <laughs> second phone call from that. They, they just said, well, I don't know, we just took a chance. And uh, he, he did say that they called back and wanted an additional $50 uh, about an hour later. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, that's that's that I guess we'll just have to build this third-party company and you know they essentially they lose they've they've overpaid and uh, they said that they were okay with that I guess some people are they've overpaid by probably two hundred dollars yeah at least uh, and we've heard we've heard way worse than that I mm -hmm. I'd given a quote to to somebody for service for around 225 and I was told that this company had billed them for almost 800 uh, so I've heard way worse coming from this company so just keep that in mind guys when you when you're reaching out because like you said well I just started googling towing near me and they and they showed up and well they sure did and they they must have been just a little better at sweet talking on the phone than me because they paid them a lot more money than what I'd quoted them to come out and do the exact same thing and and uh, at the end of the day they take their money and their portion of it and then they pay us our smaller portion and we go with all of the with all of the liability all of the truck all of the expense and they get paid a whole lot of money for just simply answering the phone uh, so just keep that in mind guys it's it's we like to be informative and we like to bring you guys this information that way you can not do the same things but uh, uh, and I apologize for the camera thing guys it's pouring down rain our camera equipment is really expensive uh, and we try to save our microphones during that maybe I could get some sort of umbrella for the camera um, I still don't really save my microphone that's on me so it's, it's kind of tough so we did have to unplug it I don't know how much of that audio that you guys caught but he did come out and say uh, you know we we slid our tires are kind of bad and the cabin company did come out and make sure that we didn't damage the property we weren't up against uh, the house and uh, I I was kind of on him for the fuel so it was at a really extreme angle there and and fuel had obviously because it was all down the side of the car and, and I could smell it where it, it seeped into the deck and the, and the ground over there so he lost a lot of fuel by being on that on its side pretty much there and he comes out with a cigarette and he's just he's puffing away and, and I'm explaining to him that he lost gas and he's still puffing away so whew, it's a wild ride over here sometimes uh, but anyway um, it seems like there were some more things that I want to talk to you guys about. Music. Music uh, in our in our videos, guys. If you, if you guys have been back and noticed some of our videos, you'll notice that the end, the ending clip of our video has some music changes, and uh, I kind of wanted to get into that. So, 
copyright claims, guys. Copyright claims are horrible. And of course, the one song that we decided to use for our outro, which is in every single video we've ever made, they decided to make a copyright claim on that. So we it just destroyed most of our videos, and I do apologize for, for the ending. Uh, some videos were okay, some weren't, but we're trying to scramble and get that stuff taken care of. Uh, information. It's going to be an information day, guys. So, uh, we've used Filmora, Wondershare Filmora, for all of our editing needs, and they've provided, with, provided us with music for our content, and it's, we bought the licensing for it, and, and out of nowhere, they decide that they're not going to they're not going to take care of their licensing for the sound clips that they offer, and uh, it's, which is, is is just horrible because, uh, like I said, we've got hundreds and hundreds of videos with this being a problem now. So we've tried to fix it the best we can. There's an explanation for that. If any of my followers out there decide they're going to start a YouTube channel and and they want to do the same things that we're doing, whether it's the same job, whether it's a different job, no matter what it is, if you're using a editing software do not absolutely do not use Filmora Wondershare because they will take your money and uh, they will not offer any any help and support if you get any copyright claims so um, some more information food for thought things that you might need to know now the music at the beginning of the video and the music that Kendra has now used at the ending of the videos is copyright free. That song was made specifically for us and we were given the rights to use that music. Yes. So thank you. Yes, thank you for that. We, we do. We've got some wonderful people, wonderful YouTube family that reach out and, and provide us with this stuff and we just like using that stuff because we know we're not, we're not going to get in trouble with it. So. And the credits to that music is in the description box. It is. If you guys want to know what that music is, you can look him up. You can but, download the whole song. So we're going to try to keep on that. Like I said, uh, we've been goofy here lately. We wanted to do the parody uh, <laughs> song. So you never know. We might get brave someday and bring you guys some really goofy music. Something that we can't get in trouble for. It's really frustrating to me, guys, because the heart and soul of any movie, video, in my mind, this is my personal opinion, music is very important to that, to, to the just the overall experience of watching you know you watch any movie out there and they're always going to have some you know some really cool song play into something that's going on some action part or i've passed the post office haven't i no it's, no, right it's there. Up here. i'm rambling i forgot what i'm doing but anyway yeah, like i said music is a very important part so we, we would love it to, to do that stuff and put that music in there because we get we get a lot of people that say, hey, you know, that's a really cool song. Or, hey, I'll never watch your video again because I totally hate that song. <laughs> uh, we, we, get, we get all aspects of that. But we there's our our thing. You know, we, we might get into singing. So me and Kristen might uh, take up singing <laughs> and uh, put that with some of our videos. I'm really going to torture people. Yeah. Yeah. Or we might, uh, I might get good on a keyboard and bring you some, some really horrible instrumental... <laughs> I don't know. I'm picturing those keyboards that we had when we were kids with the, with the button that you pushed that played the song for you. <laughs> anyway, guys, I am at I'm at the post office. Gatlinburg Post Office, guys. These gals, guys and gals in here are some awesome people. Uh, sorry, dear, I'm going to park across the parking lot. You're going to have to walk. It. In the rain. They're open until 5, so that works for us because we're later afternoon. We're always over here, yeah. We're always over here late afternoon. So most of our other post offices, like uh, Pigeon Forge, is 4.30. Uh, Sevierville, which we just don't have enough time to usually go all the way across town. Uh, it's just crazy because it's like, it's probably 35, 40 minutes from here to Sevierville Post Office. And uh, they, they do close about the same, I think, 4.30 it is. But anyway, really cool place, guys. Some awesome uh, city hall is city hall is right up there, the local police station right across from Food City, which is right here. But we are we're back over here, and I just want to bring that stuff to you guys. It's um it's very frustrating on on that music end of it, like I said, because it's it's very it's very bad when we have to go back and re-edit things. Um, and you guys think it might be easy to pull that back in and re-edit, but you, you lose quality when you're trying to redo things and. 
and my gosh, uh, Kendra, you guys got to give Kendra a shout out in the comments because she does an amazing job on editing mm -hmm. these things. And I couldn't imagine, you know, getting a copyright claim and now have to go back 500 videos and re-edit everything. So we got caught in a really bad place and uh, yeah, Wondershare Fillmore is not the thing. So you might see some changes come into the channel here soon. Uh, I know Kendra has, um, has thought about using Adobe uh, for a uh, for a platform comment down below guys if you're into this stuff I am not a tech person I started this I started this channel based on Filmora and it was just a platform that I got used to using and uh, it worked well for me because I'm not internet savvy computer <laughs> software savvy at all and uh, it worked for me but for you guys out there that do this stuff on a more professional level level than I could ever do comment down below let me know if there's something out there that you guys think we should switch to as far as editing software um, you guys might know of some things out there that are that offer a really cool lineup of true copyright free music uh, but I, I'm having trust issues right now on that stuff because you're you know just like Fillmore they said that we were okay and, and they and they covered us a couple of times back in 2020 I believe it was, it was we had 22 was it 22 yes they, they had some issues with a couple of songs and they were fine they emailed me the uh, stamped certificate license uh, to use that song and I emailed that in and uh, that copyright claim went away and it was mm -hmm. no harm no foul very minimal on my part but now they've went to we're not going to help you um, I'm sorry you're on your own and uh, that's uh. it's crazy that they're not honoring their licensing agreements like we purchased this we purchased a lifetime membership to this and now it's, it's useless to us it's it's devastating guys just okay so I'm gonna get into this just a little bit as much as you guys hate commercials and we have no control over uh, commercials that get placed in where they're placed how long they are what they're advertising uh, we've had some weird things mm -hmm. um, but just know that we are not associated affiliated in any way shape or form with commercials that you might see watching our channel um, those are just placed out there um, they are sold spots to these companies and um, so when these people make the copyright claim once they win the claim all of the money revenue uh, for all of the commercials they win all of that money and it goes to them um, so it's you know they, they stand to make a lot of money for doing essentially nothing you know if they if they purchased uh, a copyright to a and it's this is all instrumental guys there's there's really nothing that offers like lyrics lyrics to anything you're not going to hear a ZZ Top or Beyonce song on a <laughs> on a <laughs> which would be cool. But. It would be really cool, but you you're not going to hear it. It's all going to be instrumental. So they purchase after the fact a copyright to this little instrumental clip, and then all of a sudden they just sit down and they just start sending copyright claims, and they they just sit back and wait for their checks to come in for uh, for the entire video. Mm -hmm. So it's very frustrating on that end of it. And uh, we want to really pay attention to what we do going forward because we are very lucky with uh, with you guys at home watching us and the support that you give us on the channel. Uh, and we want to we want to grow and keep that thing going. We don't want to be shut down and have a copyright strike and and then YouTube close close our stuff down and and then we can't bring you guys cool videos anymore and and uh, just like that everything autos is uh, is off the map. So we want to definitely do what we're supposed to do so like i said comment down below this is kind of an important thing i would love to hear your guys' input on this what we can use what we can't use if you've got uh, copyright free, free music that uh, that you'd like to share with us we will definitely keep that stuff in mind or source for copyright free music and so sing us a song <laughs> send it to us uh, everything autos at yahoo.com that's the email address you can uh, send me an audio clip of yourself singing your favorite song and we'll uh... <laughs> now we now the YouTube YouTube has a YouTube editor and it is trash it's it's garbage it's garbage you try to edit a, uh, anything after the fact on YouTube and it takes days and uh, they offer it's basic like basic like something you could do like in uh, remember Microsoft paint yeah that's about that's about that's the quality bad. of YouTube editor so we uh yeah it was uh you, you couldn't even 
you couldn't raise or lower the audio mm -hmm. you couldn't cut. cut so what we had to do on this and like i said it's it's butchered so we've got we've got a lot of, of, of end credits that are going to be butchered you just had to like take this song and plop it in there and hope that it covered up the copyright music audio file that was there no matter whether i was finishing up what we were doing with the video talking where it just had to boop it just had to insert right there mm -hmm. so i do apologize for that and uh for those of you that got to watch the better end of the video most of it's most of it's just credits and, and showing you guys uh, silly things or at most it was two or three seconds worth of talking that you're not going to get so. yeah uh, you, you hear me talking enough so two or three seconds is not going to make or break anybody out there that uh, are very tired of hearing me talk so anyway um with that said i think i've got some of that stuff out i know we'll probably get some questions and uh hopefully this video catches up with you within a week or two and uh oh I thought I was done. I want to thank you guys for the for the memberships. Uh, Kendra mm -hmm. did the early yes. access. So those of you that have reached out and said, well, am I going to have to pay for everything autos uh, videos? No, you're not going to have to do that. She explained this and I've gotten quite a few emails on it, but just know that it is still, nothing has changed for you guys that, that follow us and we, we love you guys and we appreciate you following mm -hmm. us. Nothing changes. Uh, for those that want to support us, we, we like to have you know funds for these cameras and these microphones and and uh, all of this equipment is is expensive. So Kendra was you know trying to get a little ahead of the game there. And for four ninety nine, you get early access and you get a support. Hopefully, us that you love, and uh, it gives us a little more funds to uh, to do these things and buy these things and help folks uh, that need things. Uh, so for the four ninety nine. You get uh, early access to videos and you get some really cool things, uh, emojis and, and things like that. But she keeps you guys well informed on that. So just, just make sure that you read uh, all of her pinned comments and pinned posts and uh, the description box because she does a very good job on, on getting that stuff out there to you guys. Now I think I'm done. <laughs> this is a lot of information. This is information overload day, guys. Yes. And uh, before I remember something else that I needed to tell you guys, I'm going to end it right there. I want to put my seatbelt on and we're going to get back to work. So stick around, stay tuned.